and welcome to this year's Comic-Con virtual start. My name is Winnie Hughes, but I am going to be presenting an activity from Pixar's Up. And you may recognize this, but this is actually Paradise Falls, Ellie and Mr. Fredrickson's dream of come true. So I thought I will bring this to you, no matter where you are, to remember that imagination can carry us through a lot, lot, lot of years and time through space and travel. Okay, so I, again, one thing I really like to do on these um, adventures online is try and make sure that we use materials that you're gonna have at your house. So let me get this going. And in the comments, I'll ask them to I have a picture with just all of the materials you're going to need and you'll be astounded because for this particular painting project you do not, I repeat, you do not need a paintbrush. All you need is mostly the things that you're going to be able to find around your house. So I'm going to go over them real quickly and then we'll get started. What you're going to need is scissors. The next thing you're going to need, Q-tips. I had originally planned acorns, so if you don't have Q-tips, you could go outside and get some acorns. Um, you need a marble. Also, a penny. If you don't have a penny, you could use a leaf. That's right, people, it's getting crazy. Also, a pen. You're gonna need some acrylics. Now, if you don't have the acrylic paint that I, um, I'm, it's like black, white, and blue, and a dark blue. If you don't have that, you can use whatever color you have on hand because this is kind of an abstract painting. So, you know, you could have pink cliffs and purple sky. It doesn't really matter. You do what you want and that's the fun of it. That's the fun of art. Next thing you're gonna need is string or yarn. Oh, and by the way, for crying out loud, I have my very own special artist of the day, my daughter, Vivian Opal, and she's gonna help me just so you can Kind of see how different things turn out and how anybody of any age will enjoy this project. Oh, and my tooth is not really missing. But did you notice? Ellie's teeth. My daughter hates it, so I might take it out at some point. Who knows? All right, the other thing you're going to need, water, um, black, and glue. Okay. Oh, and another thing that I really enjoy, if you ever, oh, if you ever met me, and if you ever know me, I'm kind of a person who really loves to, to use everything that I have. I'm a little bit of a person that loves to collect. So I love also using paper of any sort, of any book, magazines, anything that you can't really use to create our painting. I'm gonna bring it on up so you can see it. Just so, it's, sometimes it's easier. Am I a good spot? Okay. Sometimes it's easier to do a project when you know where you're going. So this is our abstract Paradise Falls. And you can see I have a few little of my, my papers and some paints up there. And this is a little yellow house and the waterfall. So today we're going to paint with yarn and Q-tips. And oh, last but not least, cardboard. We're going to be using cardboard today to paint with. Okay. So give yourself a good stretch. Give your friend a high five or just take their nose and throw it into no it's just okay i'm giving it back okay, okay. never mind not taking your nose okay so are you ready i always tell my students taking a deep breath and let it out because we're fixing to make some magic are you ready are you ready comic-con yeah <laughs> i hear everybody okay great all right so here's what we're gonna do we're just gonna get started and we're gonna take our, for our, we're gonna start on the sky first. We're just gonna take a dab, and Vivian is old enough because she's six now to do it herself. Okay? You might wanna notice, it's just like this. Okay? No big deal, no big deal at all. Okay? Got your blue. And then we're gonna take a cardboard job. Next up, we pull out the cardboard. You could use a gift card, your credit card that's, you know, that you don't need. If you use it for this, you might not get to use it for something else. So just make sure you have a piece of cardboard, a gift card, anything with a flat edge. That's what you really need. 
and we're going to take it, this is probably maybe two inches, and we're going to take it and we're going to go from the left, swipe it to the right. Are you ready? Take it from the left to the right. Ready? One, two, three. Now what you want to do is you're going to create a really nice sky frame, and you don't want to overwork it. You just kind of want, you don't want to blend it together is what I mean. You just kind of, I, because I was talking, it kind of blobbed a little bit, but I think it's good. So one swipe from left to right, and you're gonna create your skyline, okay? Got it? So look, we're just gonna take it. You're doing great. And just do that, that's perfect, okay? And you might need a napkin for your hands. I always wear an apron for that reason because it's always built in and you always know where it's at. Now we're gonna build the Cliffs of Par Paradise Falls. First thing we're gonna need is an ominous black and a mystical white, okay? To be honest with you, this is actually a watercolor paint because I didn't have black on hand. So I just have a little watercolor and you know what? It's gonna be just fine. So I guess it feels just hang tight, okay? We're gonna move on to this piece. So we're gonna build some cliffs. Now, if in the middle, in the original, what you'll notice is there's a waterfall in the middle. That's not gonna be black and white, okay? So we're just gonna make the cliffs on either side. So this and this, that's what our cliffs of Paradise Falls will be looking like, okay? Good job, Viv. So we're gonna take it. Now, last time we worked from left to right, this time we're gonna work from the top, from the bottom to the top. Okay, you can add it. You ready? So you just kind of sprinkle it on there. I might need a little bit more. I really like these a lot. All right, grab a different piece and we're just gonna work our way up into the sky. Up into the sky of Paradise Falls. Up into the sky, adventure is out there, right? That's what they say in the movie, adventure is out there. So we are kind of creating our own adventure. And remember, don't overwork it. You're probably talking about seven swipes, nothing big. And what's nice about this abstract simplified art is that you don't really have, you let the paint kind of create its own dynamic. You don't have to blend it perfectly. It's supposed to look simplified and dramatic. So if your work is looking simplified and dramatic, then you're doing a good job. And I feel like you're doing a good job, okay? Let's check in, let's check in over here on Vivian. All right, here she is. Got that? All right, swipe it into the sky. So you do, just to make it clear, you do want to go from the bottom to the top and into the sky because we're creating a, an effect from the bottom up. That's why we're going from the bottom up into the sky. You ready, Viv? Can I help you? Yes. All right, let's get you a little bit more black because we want these cliffs to look towering and magnificent, right? So we're going to use color to create drama. Color to create drama. That's for another season, okay? You got it? All the way to the top? Leave a space in the middle? Okay, excellent. Now, we're gonna move on into a very, very fun part. This part, you definitely wanna make sure you get permission from your parents because it's fixing to get messy in here, okay? Now, for the next part, good job. Just go straight up, ready? Straight up like a cliff, straight up like a cliff, okay? For the next part, we're gonna paint with yarn. You heard it first, folks. Paint with yarn. Okay, say it with me. Paint with yarn. Yarn. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna let this one dry. This one of Vivian will be drying. My trusty assistant, Mr. Hughes, will give you that. Now, Vivian, I'm gonna give you this one that I already made, okay? Now, it's gonna go great. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of a dark blue. Now, something I've learned along my life is I keep my paints in a, a ice tray. Um, if you paint regularly, you'll find that you put your paint out and then it gets wasted. So I keep my paints in an ice tray that's got a lid. So if you, I know that they're a little bit hard to find. I, I might have found mine, find mine at maybe Target or I know I, I could have gotten it online, but this is just a regular ice tray. And we're gonna go in with a little bit of a darker color. Now, what we're gonna do, when we paint with yarn is we're going from dark to light, okay? So that's the technique that you want to remember. Say it with me, dark to light. Dark, dark to, to light. light, to light, to light. The special effects are crazy. Okay, 
So, here we go, Vivian, are you ready? We're gonna take our yarn. Now, Vivian and I, are we just gonna kinda make it a little bit like a, um, I just kinda have it. So if you're imagining it's about the length of a ruler, I'm going in half, and I'm going in half again. I'm gonna create a little bit of like a, you know, loop here. Okay, so I got myself one. I'm gonna put that in my bowl. And, oh, Vivian already did hers. Put it in the bowl, sis. And I'm gonna pop in with Q-tip some dark blue. Cause remember we're going dark to light, to light, to light, to light. And we're gonna add some water and mix it in. I'll move the string while you mix it. Okay. I might add a little bit too much water. If you're thinking you're gonna do like a scoop of paint and then you wanna add some water. I'm gonna put a little bit extra cause you don't want it to be super soupy cause you definitely want it to make a dramatic color on there. So I added probably a tablespoon, maybe more of water. And guess what? If this doesn't work out, it's not the end of the day and it's not the end of the world. We'll just figure out what to do next. So we got that mixed up and now we're gonna, we're gonna put our, um, it's okay. We're gonna put our strings in there. Um, if you don't, all right, just let that get in there. We're gonna let that soak it up really quickly. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn our paint palette upside down on in ready in three two one good job so sky is going to be on the bottom clips are going to be on the top okay because you're going to get so amazed by what's going to happen next all right so you're going to grab your strings i'm going to get vivian and mine separate now this is where you want to make sure that your mom is not going to be mad at you because this could make a mess and you want to make sure that you have a table covering because this is going to get crazy um you're just going to take them and just like an octopus, you're going to kind of lay it out. Okay, so I'm just laying that out. And the cool thing is this creates an effect that you really couldn't create with a brush. I don't care how talented you are, you're not going to be able to repeat this pattern ever, ever, ever again. It's a one of a kind. It's a one of a kind masterpiece. Good job. All the way to the bottom because you want your water that's going all the way to the bottom. We'll try to keep it out this guy if you don't mind. That's fine. You're doing great. You're actually doing fantastic. Now, okay, so let's let's hold that for a second. We're gonna put that right there for a rest. I'll give you this for your hands. Good thing if you're wearing an apron, that's why I always wear one, because guess what? You just tweeze your fingers right off. Alright, now remember we said we were gonna go dark to light. So right now, this is what it looks like. I do that, but it didn't make any effect at all. Okay, but sometimes if the water is there, you can use your um, you can use wind to kind of create a little bit more of that movement. Next thing, so we're going dark to light, right? So let's find our next paint. Um, I have this one that we used for the sky. I'm gonna add a little bit of that, and then Vivian's gonna swirl it up, making our next adventure come to life. So these are just acrylics. I got these from Hobby Lobby, and if you get the 50% off, I don't know, there may be $3 a um, tube. So this project would be relatively inexpensive, or you may have poster paints. You could probably use anything that you have with this project. All right, you ready, sis? Let's put these in here. Thank you for helping me today. So now we're gonna go a little lighter. Let's see if we can tell the difference, okay? Is that yours in there? All right. So who knew that you could make a gorgeous painting with Q-tips and some yarn? And again, you're just gonna start from the bottom. It looks like it got a little bit soupier. That's okay. You're just gonna kind of create this little effect, this act of mo of uh, movement, motion. Oh man, that looks really nice. That looks really good. So let's just start from the bottom and just kind of. You're doing great. You're doing awesome. I'm just trying to help. There you are. Looks good. All right, do you think we ought to do one more layer? So I'm gonna pick it up so you can see it. It's actually kind of, uh, it's kind of flowing. I might leave it just like that. What do you think about yours, Vivian? It's pretty good. Yeah, so we'll just let that stay just like that. Now we're gonna move on, we'll let that dry. Ooh, look at this very very abstract and creative we'll let those dry for a second and we are going to now cut out 
our little house. Because you remember in the movie, what color is the house? Does anybody remember? What color is that house? It's so famous from up. It's a yellow house. It's a little yellow house. Yeah, it's a little yellow house of adventure. So I just cut out of, out of the same cardboard I was using for my palette. I just cut a little house. I did a little triangle on the top. It's very small, okay? I just wanted to sit right on top of that cliff. So I'm gonna move this over and you could paint that. Okay. Paint that. With what? With the yellow. Okay. Adventure is out there. So next time you get that box in with books or whatever it is that you're, you have, if you save it, remember, you can make a painting. And I'm gonna paint with this. And then we're almost, believe it or not friends, we're actually almost done. We are nearly done with our Paradise Falls painting. And the one thing about, about this is, you know there's really not a, a whole lot of artwork out there or different things that you can get from up. Somehow there's just not a lot of merch. Now, we're gonna change that today because we're making our own merch, folks. We are not afraid. You got the house painted? Good job. So we just painted our house yellow. And what's nice is I use a little bit of a thicker um, cardboard, so it kind of has a little bit more of a dramatic effect sitting right on the top of that hill. Now, if your paint is still wet, which mine is, Vivian's is too. We're gonna put it right there. You see that? We're gonna place it right on the top of Paradise Falls because in, in, in Ellie and Mr. Fredrickson's imagination, their little house was going to sit right by Paradise Falls. Okay, so let's put our house on. And I forgot about one of the most fun parts. So let's put that house on and we'll let it get situated. Mm -hmm. It's okay. What I'm going to do, we don't really have to use glue. We're just going to use our paint, okay? Because if we try to put glue on top of paint while it's wet, it's just going to turn into a mess. So we're just going to use paint. And while it dries, it'll kind of turn into a glue. If you'd like to do it a different way, you can let it dry and do it your way. But today, for the camera, we're doing it this crazy way. And I, are you ready for the most fun part? Um, yeah. Mine is okay. Perfect. Mine is good. You're doing great. If we need it, we're just going to let that sit right there. Because we're getting ready to do the blue. Perfect. You are right. That actually is dry. So let's just do that. Sometimes other people are right. Yeah. Okay. Extra on there. There you go. Let that sit. Okay, my girl. That's perfect. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get a little bit of a marble. This is a fun part, too. And we're going to dip it in a little. We're going to get a little bit of paint on there and we're going to put a little bit of water. Just so we're going to. Um, uh -huh. Okay, we're going to swirl the marble down. And it's just going to go down our waterfall and it's going to create a really cool effect. Oh my goodness. I'm going to come by the camera. If you want to use the marble, you can. You don't have to. I'm going to come by the camera so you can see. How neat is that? It's just trailing down with the marble. Now, if you don't like the marble and you want to leave it the other way, it's fine. I just think it's kind of fun for children to get to use things that they can find. <gasps> One more thing that we're gonna add before we do the balloons is, that looks really good. We're gonna grab our penny or a leaf. We're gonna touch it in our white paint. And we're just gonna like dab it in the sky. We're gonna create really, if you remember in the movie, there's really, a, there's a lot of cloud scenes. Somehow, especially in the beginning, there's a lot of, they, they focus on the clouds a lot in that movie. So if you're if you're celebrating that Pixar movie, you've really got to use clouds, okay? Now, while Vivian's working on her clouds, we're going to work on the most famous part of Up. The most famous part of Up is what? I would have to say, I would have to vote for the balloons, which is why I brought these. Because the balloons are just like, they, they also play a really special symbolic role in the movie as well. So you can't make up art without a rainbow of balloons. Oh, 
that looks really good. I like the texture of those, Vivian. All right, so right now we have Vivian's and her clouds are like popping off the page, looking good. And now we get to move on. So what I do yesterday or the day before when I was making my second round of this, I think if we put seven balloons with Q-tips, like I said, if you don't have Q-tips, you could go get uh, acorns. Anything that kind of has a spherical shape, you can use. So I kind of take my, um, okay, thank you so much, perfect. Take that and I'm gonna use a piece of my cardboard as a little, just to kind of get a little bit of the extra off and I'm gonna count seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, your turn. All right. And then we'll go through all the colors of the rainbow, which of course would be red, orange, yellow, then green, followed by blue. Um, so we're gonna make some orange ones. I'm gonna, I don't have one, so I'm gonna mix some red and some yellow together. And we're gonna count seven orange. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're gonna go with some yellow and we're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And what's interesting now is you're gonna to have to start layering some colors, okay? So right now they're all kind of separate. When I start going in with my green, I'm gonna to have to go over a little bit of it. So I'm gonna kind of just one, I'm gonna make sure I get a lot on there. So going in with green, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, now we'll grab some blue. And if it gets kind of heavy, you can just take your paper and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And last bit would be purple. How's yours going? Okay, that looks so good. I like that. We do a one, a two, a three, four, five, six, seven. Paradise Falls, no wonder everybody wants to go to Paradise Falls. So here's that, we're gonna put that back on my tray. So here's how it's looking so far. And I have two options that I'm gonna show you. Vivian's just finishing up her balloons. Can I show them yours really quick? Okay, she's gonna add a little pink, but look at hers. Paradise Falls. So see, it's a real, this is a real quick thing that you can do and you can astound your friends because now you know how to paint with Q-tips, yarn, and a marble. And now I'm gonna come up with one more final finale so you can see the big ending. So here it is. Here's this, this is just with paint. And this is one that I made with, I, I went the extra mile, you can do whatever you want. I went the extra mile with, with some um, scraps from books and magazines. And so I did my rainbow balloons and then I added, just for texture and extra, I added colorful papers from books because I'm a big fan of recycling. Okay, and Vivian added pink balloons. And there's all kinds of colors. And so this is our take on Paradise Falls. Thank you for joining and enjoy your rest of your life. Mm -hmm.